Hi everybody, my name is Mike, and I sure love to play my drums and my tambourines, but I have a problem. This drum and this tambourine don't belong to me. They belong to a friend of mine, and I have to give them back. So, it's kind of a problem because I really, really like to play them. So I thought to myself, hmm, I've got a problem here. I've got to ask myself some questions. I've got to wonder what I could do to fix this problem. So what I did was I thought about it a lot, and I thought, well, maybe there's some things in my house that sound like a drum and sound like a tambourine. So I explored. I looked around in my house, and I looked at a lot of different items, and I tried them out. I kind of, you know, maybe modeled them, if you would say that. And here's how I did it. So I had the drum. I thought about the drum. I thought, what is it about a drum? It's round. And it has a head on the top, okay? So it's round and it's closed on one end. So I looked around and I found this, this little flower pot. I tried to play it. Not too bad, but not really great. One of the problems was I want to play with two hands. And with this, I have to hold it with one hand and play it with the other. So I ruled that one out. That didn't work. Well, I looked around some more. And I thought, well, what about this? This is a pot. Pot maybe to make spaghetti in or something, right? So I tried to play that. Sounded pretty good, but not quite really what I wanted. It's a little too hard, a little too quiet. So I kept thinking some more. And then I saw this. This is a plastic trash can, okay? It's not round, but it's closed on one end. And I turned it upside down and I tried it. And guess what? I thought it sounded great. So that is what I chose to solve my problem. So I asked myself some questions. What was my problem? I explored a little bit and I tried some different ideas and then I looked at some of the ideas and I picked the one that I liked the best, which was the trash can. And then, you know, I thought to myself, well, that was pretty good, you know, and I, I, I had a process and I figured out what to do. So I thought I'd do the same thing about the tambourine, okay? And I thought, what is it about the tambourine? Well, it rattles and it jingles. What? can I find around the house that rattles and jingles? Well, I didn't really find anything that rattled and jingled, but I found some things I could put together, and I made some different ideas, and I made some little models of things that I thought would work. Here's one of them. This is a paper cup, and I put some pennies in the bottom, and I shook it. Well, it rattles, but it's not really the sound I wanted, so that one wasn't going to work. Then I found a little glass jar, a little spice jar, and I put some screws in the bottom. Well, oh, that's getting closer. It's not quite the sound I wanted, though. It's a little too quiet. So I thought, well, if I want it to be louder, maybe I should pick something bigger. So I found this little old peanut butter jar, and I put some marbles in the bottom, and I tried that, and guess what? That's the sound I was looking for. So, I did the same thing. I asked myself some questions about what my problem was. And my problem was that I wanted something that sounded like a tambourine. So I explored. I looked around and I tried some different ideas. And I made a couple of little models of things that I thought would rattle and sound like a tambourine. Then I thought about the three, four different things that I made and I picked the one that I liked the best. Okay? And that's how I solved my problem. Now, another thing that's important is maybe you have a friend that has a problem. Explain to your friend how you solved your problem. I'm explaining to you how I solved mine with my instruments, and you could do the same for your friends, okay? So I hope you have fun, and I know you're gonna be able to solve your problems, and good luck to you.